we will see that survey data is a product of systematic data collection process which produces a form of data called microdata. Microdata allows you to do analysis in the same way as if you had collected the data yourself. It's quite typical for these data to be collected using a standard set of questions as to a sample of respondents. Most survey data are collected for a specific research purpose. Standardised information is gathered about a range of characteristics that vary. This might be done by sending out a questionnaire for respondents to complete on paper or online, or it might be completed by interviewers either face to face or over the phone. Respondents are often individuals, but this too can vary as some surveys relate to business, schools, households or other units. The same information is gathered from all respondents and their information is stored as records in a data set which can be used to produce statistical summaries. In all but two years since 1983, a British Social Attitude Survey has been carried out to take an annual snapshot of public opinion on a range of key political and social issues. The survey is conducted by an organisation called the National Centre for Social Research, or NATSEN for short, a large independent social research agency which has a team of methodologists and a large field force of interviewers. Each year some questions are repeated and some are new to reflect issues of concern at any time point. The survey has a lot of impact in the UK and it is often reported in the news as a reliable source of information on shifts in public opinion. Over the years it has tracked the slowing decline in the proportion of people who identify as Christian, the liberalisation of attitudes to same-sex relationships and a hardening of attitudes to welfare benefits. The 2014 survey, for example, was funded by a number of sponsors, including the UK Statistics Authority, government departments and charities. It was designed to produce information about the opinions of adults aged 18 or over in Great Britain. To do this, a sample of potential interviewing addresses were identified and 2,878 interviews were achieved from randomly selected adults. The survey was conducted face to face at the respondent's home in which responses were recorded on a laptop. Additionally, a self-completion questionnaire was left for respondents to fill in and return. Some questions are answered by all, while other questions are answered by only those who are randomly selected to answer that particular version of the questionnaire. The resulting data have been made available for reuse. Data and information about the survey can be found in the UK Data Service catalogue. If you collect data from a survey yourself, a natural way to store the information is in a matrix, with records in one direction and the things that vary, or variables to give them their formal name, in the other, and that's just what survey microdata looks like. This for example is what the British Social Attitudes data for reuse looks like in the PSPP package. Data in this format is typically referred to as microdata as the records relate to the original data collection units. So if a survey gathers responses from individuals, the records will be for individuals too. The generic term, the unit, for whom there is a record, is known as a case. Statistical packages that hold data in a rectangular matrix like this typically have cases in rows. The variables are in columns. The value in a cell is therefore the value for a particular variable for a specific case. It is quite common for statistical packages such as SPSS, STATA or PSPP to store the values as numbers and to associate a label for human consumption with that value. Other packages like R manage this differently. Some values are called missing values. These values are ones where there may be a value recorded but it represents something we normally omit from analysis, such as did not answer or not applicable. Missing values are handled differently in different datasets and by different software. In this example, a minus one is used to represent values that are not applicable, as the question was not asked. Good survey design uses questions that elicit useful responses and enable meaningful comparisons between groups to be made. 
A well-documented survey will allow you to trace back to the question that was asked to see who was asked the question and how. Some of the responses are stored in their raw form in the dataset and are easy to trace back to the questions asked. Other variables may instead be the result of some sort of calculation or processing after data collection was completed. These are known as derived variables and documentation held in archives with the data should be able to help you to interpret the meaning of these variables, probably through allowing you to understand how the derived variable in the data relates to the original questions asked. This may be a simple description as here, it might be a flowchart, algorithm or any other format.